this is Mari Lane on the Buying Space Channel. Uh, we got Sanford Tree Services out here today, cutting down some very tall trees. You can see they've cut all the branches off of that up until the tip top. Here's one over here laying on the ground that they just uh, laid down uh, right after we came in. We've been out here for about 20 minutes watching because yes we don't have anything better to do ha 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 not true but for some reason uh, this kind of uh, activity is what I like to watch I watch the uh, there it goes I watch the long haired juggernaut About three years ago, we had some trees cut out of our backyard, or one tree, one huge tree. So just bringing that down. So it's way up there. We still got one, one more thing up there to bring down. Unless they're going to bring down that big ball. See, they've cut all the other branches off of that tree. You can see the knots messing one up. So they're probably going to take down the whole tree, but they're not going to bring down the wood until all the leafy, leafy branches are off of it and it's all just knobs like a telephone pole. In fact, it's right next to the telephone pole. You can't cut and tell the difference. See, they, that's now in the backyard. They've got a piece of equipment there. They're probably going to pull it forward to the front yard. Oh, there it went. More little pieces are coming down. He's tossing, tossing more down. Yep. It's all coming down. Seems like pretty dangerous work. It is. That wood is really, really heavy. And he's all, all the way up there. Like... Yeah, did you see the video of the guy that had have cut off the top of a palm tree because at the very top it was that tall and you just go up and you cut off the top of it mm. and as you climb it curves down mm. so when you cut the top off of it all that heavy weight at the top is taken off so the person up there ends up swinging back and forth on this large piece of wood. Mm. <laughs> I don't know that that is what's happening here because he's cutting off the branches as he goes up. So, but there's the wood or the tree is never leaning that far over. With a palm tree, it is as you climb it. it, it it curves over. Mm. Yeah, I can see the top over there swaying a little. But he's not going to be like up there at the top riding it. No. Doesn't he have a little platform there? He had a larger platform. I guess the platform gets smaller as he goes up. Yeah. But he is holy on that tree as far as his support. Yeah. And this person down here has got a safety on him, but how much slack would be in that? Yeah. If he were to fall, he would prevent him from, him from smacking on the ground, but he still would come down with great velocity if he were to fall because that's yeah. his only safety. They should really, I don't know, could you have put that like a zip wire over on the other tree? Uh, that is a good question. Yeah, because I've ridden zip wires from trees to trees with like swamp below me. Yeah. I fell off one fell off a zip wire once over a pond and mm. did a belly flop and then my feet ended up stuck in the mud at the bottom of the pond almost up to my knees. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> and I almost died. Ew. That was when I was about 15 years old. That sounds scary. It was and you could see every vein in my body on my shins, my knees, my thighs, my stomach, you know, my shoulders, my neck, my face. I was just completely red with blue sticking out. Mm. 
people saw me and they were like, Ugh! you know, it was almost like I was burnt, mm. you know, but it, as time progressed, it subsided. See, this guy down here, as predicted, is using this piece of equipment to bring out that branch that was cut down. Yeah, that's a sturdy little thing. Yeah. I've got the videos from three years ago where we did this in our backyard. Hmm. It was a different company we used. Yeah. Maybe if we filmed them long enough, they'll come talk to us. Maybe. Because I really would like to ask them what to, I should do about the neighbor over here. The neighbor, the property owner doesn't live over there. Hmm. So how we get this done so we could uh, take care of our driveway. Yeah. And prevent our house from, you know, it is hurricane season. And prevent those from falling and hitting our house and our carport and our shed. Yeah. Or our vehicles. Big, or, tall things. Yeah, and they're very, very heavy. I think they're the same kind of tree as the one. See? It looks like the same kind of tree. Yeah. Ew. I'm just very tired. I know. Just sit back and relax. I'm waiting on the wheelchair guy to pick up the extra wheelchair. Okay. And mills on wheels. Yeah. Off. The very tip top all at once. Do you think that's what's going on? I don't know. Hmm. Sure are trying to make sure everything's secure. Yeah, and who can blame them? Because the neighbor over there in the stark white house, we've got a gray house and a stark white house to the right. Yeah. They're not even hiring this done. So if we were having a tree cut down and a the tree fell on the neighbor's house. Yeah. We'd be primarily responsible. I mean, the tree service would be too. I'm sure their insurance is crazy. Yeah. Expensive. Yeah, it's one Because of the, a fall from that height, when you're not falling into a pond, mm. lethal. Yeah, yeah. Unless, you know, like Parker free running stuff. Well, that's true, but not many people know that. Yeah. I mean, maybe they hire people that like to do the, the rock climbing things. Maybe. Yeah. But in Florida, we don't have a lot of that. Hmm. We don't have, uh, we have, I guess, have a few like indoor rock faces, but most of that stuff is in like Orlando. They might have some at Gainesville, but yeah. I don't know that our yeah. colleges, even though we have a lot of colleges in town, have that. Yeah, didn't we go to a NASA place that had something like that? Yes, near Montgomery, Alabama, absolutely. Yeah. Like Huntersville. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I remember climbing up there and I was scared. <laughs> That's a thing I... that astronauts do. Uh, 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 well, some astronauts are into that. Yeah. Before they become astronauts, and that's why one of the reasons they're hired because when you're, you know, when you're on the ground, you don't, you're not always aware that you're in a three dimensional environment. If you're up a tree like that, you're very aware, you have to be aware of it. Yeah, and when you do a spacewalk, oh god. Oh god. <laughs> See, if I went on a spacewalk, I would probably totally freak. That guy up there in that tree, he might not have that much trouble with it other than having to wear that stupid suit and, you know, being enclosed in a helmet because he's yeah. used to being in the open air. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hear they also like to hire people who are proficient with swimming for similar... Right, to deal with the weightlessness of it, yeah. 
Yeah, and so all Florida tree climbers should be, you know, applying for the ISS, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know about written math, but somebody climb a tree like that, they definitely are a good estimation. Yeah. And, and a spatial awareness, even if they don't know how to do calculus. Yeah. You know, he's constantly yeah. having to uh, figure out his weight differential and just have a, like, develop an instinct with the sway of a tree. Yeah. It's an interesting job. It's very dangerous. I, um, back in the 80s, dated a man that his whole family were, they were timbermen. And they cut down trees, you know, not like this, not in this environment. They cut down forests, but they were constantly in danger. And they're the kind of people that their blood pressure is up all the time. And life events that bother other people don't bother them. Yeah. So adrenaline. Oh, yeah, adrenaline junkies, exactly. Whoa. And stuff that, like social situations that cause adrenaline yeah. to normal people. If you're, uh, you know, involved with an adrenaline junkie or somebody that's surrounded by adrenaline junkies all the time, mm. it's no big deal to them. Even if it's new yeah. for them, it's not. Find a fascinating evil can evil grew up in that kind of environment. Well, I can't remember the name of the town he grew up in, but that car falling. Yeah, logging and mining and yep. a bunch of. I grew up in that kind of environment. Yeah. You do seem a lot calmer about things. Yeah, in an emergency situation. Now, after the fact is when I go to pieces. But like the other day when we had that when we had that shooting on the street, yeah. that police officer in the uh, mental health unit yeah. had talked to our neighbor yeah. who had gone become unhinged. Yeah. He told me, he said, you handled this whole situation really well. Yeah. And as soon as he said that, I started crying, which was funny because it was like everything was yeah. over, you know, and then I became that way. Uh, this is Mayhew. This is our wheelchair pickup.